More than a million Americans seek help for kidney stones each year, but when the patient is a 500-pound marine mammal, treatment is anything but routine. Sea World veterinarians were worried when Dottie the dolphin became critically ill earlier this year. So worried, in fact, they called a hospital. And what happened next was groundbreaking. This is a scene staff at SeaWorld in San Diego were not sure they would ever see again. Dottie, their 23-year-old Atlantic bottlenose, happily playing alongside her son, Cortez. Come on, Dottie. She's not coming over. Six months ago, trainers noticed Dottie was not quite herself. She did not want to eat at all. She was at the bottom of the pool doing deep swimming laps very fast, which tends to communicate to us there's some agitation. Blood tests confirmed Dottie was suffering from acute renal failure due to complications from kidney stones. If something wasn't done, they feared Dottie may not survive. We could have lost her. Dottie's veterinarian, Dr. Todd Schmidt, took the unusual step of reaching out to Dr. Roger Sur at UC San Diego Medical Center, an accomplished surgeon, but one who had never treated animals before, only humans. They performed the first ever successful dialysis treatment on a dolphin, but that was only the first step. To get Dottie back to her healthy self, they had to do a more invasive surgery to get rid of the kidney stones. Dottie's health was so unstable, Dr. Soar and SeaWorld's animal care team could not even give her an anesthetic. So a very sick but conscious Dottie was brought to the operating table, where tiny lasers were used to blast the stones away. Seeing her back out here, it definitely brings goosebumps to us. Dr. Todd Schmidt is the senior veterinarian at SeaWorld San Diego. Dr. Roger Sur is the director of the UCSD Comprehensive Kidney Stone Center for who operated on Dottie, and they join us all live from SeaWorld, and Dottie is right there with them too. Gentlemen, thank you very much. This is such a, a wonderful story. And Dr. Schmidt, how is she doing? It's been a few months now. Is Dottie her old self? She's doing great. She's back assimilated with her pod and, and back with her son and, and doing very well. Her son, Cortez. You have done some fabulous work there. Uh, SeaWorld has been around for 45 years. You have a, an incredible staff. When did you know, Dr. Schmidt, that you were going to have to go outside and get some help for Dottie? Well, I think once we, we saw on the ultrasound that she had an obstructed uh, an obstruction that we and we weren't seeing progression with the fluid therapy that we, I decided then that I probably needed to reach across the aisle and, and contact someone that that did this on a routine basis. So that's you, Dr. Sur, reaching across the aisle right there. You've done this a thousand of times with with humans. But what was your reaction yes. when you were told your patient was going to be a dolphin? Well, yeah, I asked him to repeat the question. <laughs> uh, I was really uh, caught off guard and I, I didn't expect the question, obviously. <laughs> so how do you prepare for something like this, doctor? Uh, we didn't have much time, actually. It kind of just, uh, I, I gathered a quick crew. Uh, everyone volunteered their time and we just got down there to the uh, Sea World, uh, took off my suit and uh, took out our equipment within a couple of minutes uh, Dottie was on the table and we had to work on the flies. Done this almost a thousand times but never on a 500 pound animal so everything was uh, brand new and uh, at the time. I'm sure you say mammals are mammals but was the kidney stone was it the same like a human kidney stone? You know um, I went online minutes before to try to google what a dolphin's anatomy looks like mm -hmm. and kidney stones and interestingly it looked exactly like a human uh, kidney stone in, in many ways and also the the bladder itself looked very similar because they're mammals so uh, fortunately for me it was very similar to a human. And she had Dr. Schmidt she had to be out of the water for an extended period of time you couldn't use anesthesia I mean uh, was she in pain? Well, we, we figured she was in, in a little bit of pain just based on what we what humans experience, but it was one thing that we, we needed to do what we had to do just to get her uh, recovered from the from the uh, the condition. So it was it was one thing that we just had to move forward and, and take one step at a time. But it was touch and go there for quite a while just based on her her condition. Well, she's nodding up and down like an agreement going, yes, you know what? It did hurt. It hurt like the Dickens if you if you really want to know. But she looks yeah. she looks wonderful. She's just so playful right there behind you. Uh, tell us a little bit about about Dottie. Well, Dottie, I mean, he's, she's got a unique personality. I mean, she's she's one of a kind, and she's a member of our family, and we and we think the highest of her. So, I mean, she is. Uh, uh, one that the trainers truly uh, uh, 
care for and, mm -hmm. and um, think highly of. So it, it's one thing that we, we wanted definitely to keep her around. Well, she is very fortunate. All the animals there are very fortunate to have you, Dr. Schmidt and Dr. Soar, to come in as you did. So <laughs> now she's going to talk to us a little bit. Thank you all. I know it's really early there in San Diego, so we appreciate you getting up and sharing this no wonderful problem. story. Our best to all. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. Dottie. We'll see Thank you. Thank you.